up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. If you've been a fan of this channel for any length of time, you know that here we train like athletes. Okay, not like bodybuilders, not that there's anything wrong with that, but we're not after just purely aesthetic goals here. We want to train you like an athlete, athletically, and then get the aesthetic byproducts of our hard work. So, that being said, today we're going to do something really interesting. We're going to take the two realms of bodybuilding and athletic training and pull them all together with one common exercise, a stomach vacuum. That's right, a stomach vacuum, one of the most classic bodybuilding exercises of all time. I want to show you how to apply it in the athletic world to not only help us prevent injury, but to help you get more out of your ab training. So even if you are training like an athlete like we do here, you're getting better aesthetic outcomes for your abs. Okay? So that being said, the stomach vacuum, how do we do it? And then how are we going to apply it and take it to the next level? And what is the whole purpose in the first place? The purpose of the vacuum is to target the deep inner abdominal muscles. In this case, the transverse abdominus that runs this way around our nature's weight belt, right, internally, and our internal obliques. Now, the internal obliques and our transverse abdominus have to be able to cinch down and tighten together to allow the muscles above them to work properly. The same way we talked about you can't fire a cannon from a canoe. If the canoe is unstable, the muscles above it or the cannon itself won't function properly. If your internal and transverse abdominus are not functioning properly or not stable or strong enough, you'll never get the force and power that you should be getting out of your abdominals, rectus, and external obliques that lie above that. So we got to fix that. So now let's see how do we do this. Well, when you look at the stomach vacuum, there's a few ways that people do it. You can do it kneeling, you can do it laying down. I like to do it standing because obviously we always like to be on our feet here if we're training like athletes. Secondly, when you get into this position, I'm going to show you one second, when you're there, you then should make one very important tweak that a lot of people don't make, I think, to tie it all together and follow up with exactly what I just said. Initiating the movement inside and then involving the, the muscles above it so that they can work together the way, the way they prefer to work. So, that being said, the stomach vacuum, you're going to try to get all the air out of your stomach first. So you blow out. Once you've blown out, you're then, your goal then is to take your belly button and try to cinch it straight back to your spine. Imagining that it's just being pressed straight in. Now, when you do that, you can help to visualize that by imagining you just stepped into an ice cold bath of water. You know when you get that feeling you're like... <gasps> You know, you're kind of like sucking in and you're, and you're really trying to get your, your stomach away from that cold water. It's that same sensation. In that position, the very key tweak that I want you to make is once you establish it, you're going to kind of look like this. Right? I'm not there yet because it's hard to talk. But when you're there, you kind of look like you're in this position. When you're in this position, that's an artificial position. That's A, not athletic, and B, it's not very functional at all. So what you want to do is once you're there... You want to try to posterior tilt and get yourself as back to vertical as you can, not over here, hunched over, but back to vertical, while you still establish that position. Now, remember, the old bodybuilders would stay way up tall. That was good. The point of that is to now get yourself internally stable and then activate the external and the rectus abdominis on top isometrically to pull it all together. So, how do we do that? Let me show you. You get up here, you're going to blow out as hard as you can. Once you've gotten rid of all that air, you try to suck your belly button in. Okay, right there. And then set. And you hold it isometrically, okay? You try to hold it for as long as you can. Again, I'll do it one more time. Blow out. Suck in. And set. And you can see, very flat in through here. Another issue sometimes people have is they'll have well-developed abdominals, but when you look at them from the side, they're sort of blowing out their lower belly. They've got no transverse abdominus control. So now, what does that mean for you athletes out there? It means we've got to start trying to prevent sports hernias. Sports hernias can come from a weakness in the lower abdominal musculature, usually caused by the fact that you're asking those upper level abs to do more work than they're, they're capable of. Why? Because the inner muscles, the ones deeper, 
the transverse abdominis and the, that, those internal obliques never did their job of stabilizing first and now you're asking the muscles above them to do too much work what happens if there's a weakness here, if there's a thinness in that tissue, you're going to get a sport hernia and you can be laid up for a long time. So how do we do it? We then take another level to our uh, vacuum exercise. We establish it, we hold on to a band, and we try to get a little bit of rotation while holding it. Again, it's very difficult because you have to be able to isometrically contract it when you do. You're just trying to go for these, these uh, disruptions to your stability to see how well you can handle them. The key though is never losing that inner stability first. So again, blow out. I got a band just hooked up over here to the side. I'll blow out. Suck in. Engage. And I try to do as many as I can. Again, I'm breathing out very slowly there. I just can't talk to show you that or demonstrate that. But literally, as I'm turning, I'm breathing out nice and slow to be able to hold that. I'm not holding my breath entirely the whole time. You just have to make sure that you're not just blowing out completely all at once. You'll likely lose the vacuum. So here, the two worlds of bodybuilding, the oldest, most classic exercise in the book, meeting a more current, a more functional, a more athletically purpose-driven workout come together and now you see the benefits that you can get both athletically and both aesthetically. That's really what it's all about here at Athletics, guys. Let's try to get you looking like an athlete by training like one and let's take some classic exercises even like the, the, the vacuum and add a little twist to it to make it literally, to make it even more functional and uh, overall more effective for you. All right, guys, if you haven't already and you want to see what it's like to start training like an athlete for 90 straight days, then head to athletex.com right now and grab our 90-day training program. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up below and let me know whatever it else is that you'd like to see, and I'll make sure I make a video about it uh, here in the days ahead. Thanks, guys.